Puts down the order, tells me that Dario Capitanio in that all Norma battle has managed to get by Jan Erlesche. And here comes Ross Gunn to try and draw alongside the Porsche of Sean Camathius. Now Ross Gunn can break later, surely, and Brilliant. he goes right round the outside. That's classic Kemmel straight into Lacombe, but the Aston's wide through the second element of the right, left, and right flick. So Joel Camathius fancies his chances of getting the place back again. Careful, boys, there's almost a little bit of contact as they run down towards Brussel and Camathius up the inside at Brussel means that Ross Gunn can't turn in where he wants to and the Porsche is back in front. Brilliant stuff. Pure GT racing. What a joy it is to watch these cars duking out. And Joel Camathias, experienced GT racer. Ross Gunn, very much a coming man in the Aston Martin family. And uh, I expect to see him back and part of this for next season as well. Great stuff. Ross Gunn, I mean, a terrific manoeuvre at the end of the Kemmel straight, but it was always going to be touch and go as to whether he could stop the car in time. It, it just ran wide a little bit out of the first right-hander, and that was all Joel Camathias needed. Nice bit of uh, just running a bit too deep into the Bruxelles hairpin, which meant that Ross couldn't turn in and get to the apex and uh, back past again, but that Porsche is ill-handling for me. It is, and I think that's what caused the opportunity, or offered the opportunity for Roskin in the first place. I think if we stuck with this battle up through Rouge and Radion, you'd see that he's struggling with ultimate grip, and the track he needs to fire the car down the Kemmel straight, so Ross got the opportunity to get a much better uh, exit speed from Radion. That, that, that uh, move started at the top of Radion. Yeah. And uh, that's often how things happen around here at Spa. You need to be thinking several corners in front. Again, the Porsche cannot get to the apex into the bus stop chicane. Better through the second bit of that corner. Ray out wide onto the curbing as they run onto the main straight. It's got good straight line speed, though. The Porsche is actually able to pull away from the Aston as they go past the pits onto the brakes into the source corner. Nowhere near the apex again, Wide John Camathias. So this is where the Porsche could be a little bit of a sitting duck once they go through O'Rouge and over the top at Radion. But he's pulled down a little bit of a gap and it's pulling away a little here. Let's watch them through and see whether or not this is the issue that we thought it was. Ghost takes the wide line. Better there, but watch the Aston Martin speed. He's closing, closing, closing. Not as quickly as he was last time, but he's going to go by again. Yeah, can't turn the corners. The Porsche got brilliant straight line speed versus the Aston, but here's the opportunity for the big Vantage. Uses the slipstream. Surely it's going to be a carbon copy manoeuvre from earlier on. Now keep it tight, Ross Gunn, because <laughs> this is where the Porsche fights back again. Brilliant GT racing and balance of performance possibly being played out in front of our eyes. This time the Porsche cannot get up alongside the Aston into Bruxelles, and that's the place cemented.